Welcome to this episode of the AI Show. We're going to talk about Bing Entity Search API with Kashak. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great, Seth. How about you? Good. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm a program manager on the uh, Bing Search API team. Uh, I specifically look into the knowledge APIs. And uh, we recently launched the Entity Search API, and I'm here to talk about that. Awesome. So tell us what it is. So the Entity Search API is a web search API, essentially. And it gives you information about the rich entities, uh, you know, people, places, things, um, and it, it, it gives you context. It provides you context that you can infuse into your applications, mm -hmm. uh, and it helps users uh, stay within your application and keep them engaged. Awesome. Well, let's see how it works. Absolutely. So um, I have a quick demo for you here. So if you go to the Azure Cognitive Services page, uh, you can go to the Entity Search API product. Uh, and we created a small uh, demo widget for you to demonstrate what, what the capabilities are. Uh, so this essentially works like a web search API. Got it. Uh, you provide in a query. We understand what that query is about. Uh, we understand if it's a, the most dominant entity you know, in the universe or if there's you know, an ambiguous situation where there are multiple entities that uh, the query could be relating to. I see. Um, and uh, we provide you, uh, you know, contextual information. We provide you an, uh, an image. We give you a description. Uh, and if you want to explore further, you can actually go to the website. Uh, or you could even go to bing.com and you know continue your search. I see. So you just put any entity in, and it will give you something about something. That is right. That is right. Imagine you're in uh, a, a web uh, application, or you're using a phone application, right? Uh, you're chatting with your friends, and uh, you know someone says, "Hey, let's go to El Gaucho." Uh, you you know, and you're like totally clueless. Hey, what is El Gaucho? Okay. Uh, what this API will help you do is, uh, it will actually give you contextual information about that entity. Uh, so that it helps you understand uh, what the entity is about and helps you complete your task. It helps you stay within the application so that you don't have to leave, you know, perform a web search and get back to the application. That's, that's how most applications use, lose users. So let's, let's, uh, let's put in Julius Caesar, for example. Oh, absolutely. I, I love uh, Roman history. There you go. Uh, in this scenario, like, you know, as you can see on the screen here, Julius Caesar is also a movie. Uh, he was also a Roman politician. Right? This is, I mean, this is pretty so, amazing. So where, where would we put this? Like, I'm trying to imagine a scenario of uh, some software that you would put this in. When would you put it in, and how does it actually help? Absolutely. So think about uh, any, any application where uh, users are exchanging information, uh, you know, uh, or, or even uh, an e-reader, for example, you oh, read through a story or a news article, and then you come across a specific topic or a term, and you have absolutely no clue what that's about. <laughs> Typically, what users do is they leave the application, go to Bing.com, and then you know perform a web search. Um, and a lot of times, that's how you that's that's in the, in the funnel. That's where you lose users. Yeah. Uh, it would be great if you could just insert a snippet of information in line. So that as I'm reading through uh, and I come across a, a particularly uh, a particularly you know cryptic uh, mm -hmm. term, I could quickly search for that and I could provide a small snippet image and now I'm fully aware and I can continue with with my reading task. That's pretty cool. I mean, like thinking of maybe even a writing application where you're building a really large novel and you want to make sure that the context is making sense. And so if you put something and like because some history buffs when they're reading books are like, right. wait a minute, this thing happened 50 years after this thing and they're in the same thing. You can actually like in your writing app do searches exactly. to figure stuff out exactly. like that. Exactly. And uh, I mean the the applications are uh, limitless, right? I mean, you could you could be you know conversing with your friends in, in a group chat, uh, and you know there could be a reference to a movie or uh, a particular term, and uh, you know you could quickly get those uh, insights about those terms without leaving the application, and that's where this really you know kicks in and uh, you know adds value to to the uh, to the application. Awesome. So as a programmer, do you just set this up in Azure and then have a subscription key and make an API call? Absolutely. So if you head over to uh, azure.com, there are two options. So uh, you can sign up for a trial. Uh, you get 1,000 queries uh, a month uh, for 90 days. Uh, and that's a great way to test out the application. Mm -hmm. uh, another way is you can you know, sign up for a subscription. Uh, you know, the standalone API is uh, charged at $3 for 1,000 queries. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also get this as a bundle with our web search API. So oh, we see. have the, you know, the S1 and S6 bundles. Uh, which are you know which have you know their respective uh, mm -hmm. rates, 
uh, for thousand queries, and it's it's a great way to bundle it uh, and you know get all that information. It's 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 awesome and unbelievable. It's value. pretty it's pretty yeah. amazing that like with a simple API call, you can provide contextual information while still retaining users in your application. Right. If it's a web application or a local application, it's just as easy as, as a call. Right, right. It's it's absolutely simple, and we would love developers to uh, you know actually try this out and send us feedback. We are continuously improving the product as well. Uh, we believe this is a, a great you know uh, offering for any application developer. Uh, so try it out and uh, do let us know your feedback. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for spending some time with us, my friend. It was my pleasure. Thanks so much for watching. We're learning about Bing Entity Search API. Add context into your applications without losing your users. You can do it pretty easily with this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.